Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of Digital Chairside Implant Workflow. This video is part 3 of a tutorial series. In this video, we focus on marking the mandibular nerve in CCOT implant in the case of an implant planning. We are in the Prepare step and move the inspection window in the panorama view to the mental foramen. Then we adjust the tangential view in such a way that the complete path of the nerve can be seen. The mental foramen should be visible in the cross-sectional view. Next, we enable the tool Mark the Mandibular Nerve and double-click on the nerve exit to add the first nerve point. We continue with setting further single clicks to define the path. Shortly before the lowest point of the visible nerve path, we set a further nerve point in the tangential view. Then switch to the cross-sectional view where we will mark the last nerve point with a double click immediately at the place of emergence of the nerve, the mental foramen. In the 3D view, the final nerve path can be viewed. The marked nerve serves only for visualization purposes and is displayed in all views for planning support. We close the full view and show a few more additional functions. By clicking one of the set nerve points and simultaneously holding and moving, the nerve point and thus the nerve path can be adjusted. Additionally, the nerve diameter can be adjusted by clicking the small up or down arrow. This serves merely for visualization purposes of the nerve canal. In case you would like to discard the nerve path, you can do so by clicking the button with the minus sign. Now we can proceed with the plan step. For detailed information regarding this step, please watch part 4 of our tutorial series. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Cydexis and CCOT Implant.